This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related, and today we're going to be doing a quick recap of Day 2 of Stadia's Good Stuff event. Much like yesterday's recap, we'll be going over all the announcements, and then I'll be giving you my overall thoughts on Day 2. With that out the way, let's discuss the first thing they showed off, and that was just a quick glimpse of gameplay from Outcasters. This was a relatively short showing, but I have to admit, the actual gameplay for this looks fantastic. It's a competitive multiplayer title, and it's exclusively on Stadia. At first, I was a bit lukewarm to seeing this being the announcement from Splash Damage, but it's really starting to grow on me. It certainly looks like there's good potential for a high skill ceiling in this game, and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the best players go at it. I must also say, I do hope to see this game get a demo in the future, it really seems like it would benefit from that style of showcase. Following that, they announced a new expansion for a game that's only on Stadia right now, and that's Orcs Must Die 3. They're calling this the Drastic Steps expansion, and it comes with 5 new scenarios, new tricks, new traps, and a brand new war scenario. It's slated to release November 6th and will be priced at 9.99 US or 9.99 euros. I'm personally happy to see this get announced. I think Orcs Must Die 3 is one of the better titles on Stadia, and I actually love the genre it's in. The expansion itself seems pretty well priced for the amount of content you get, and fans of the franchise will be happy to see that Max is back. It's also worth noting that Stream Connect is coming to the game, and you are seeing it inside this trailer. The trailer itself showcases what that looks like, even though it doesn't directly confirm it, but thankfully the community manager has cleared this up. Like all other Stream Connect implementations, it's ultimately up to you whether or not you want to use the feature, so you'll be able to enable it or disable it however you want. Right after that, we got an announcement of a new title coming to Stadia Pro, and I'm talking about Ark Survival Evolved. This is a survival game very much akin to titles like Rust, but with a more unique setting that has dinosaurs. You'll start the game off with nothing, but you'll quickly be able to learn how to craft other materials and then build a base. After that, you can then tame dinosaurs for both combat and traversal. There's actually quite a bit more you can do in the game, and you can build futuristic technology and even have a robo-mech dinosaur as well. The idea behind this game is that you typically want to try and find a group to survive with and then all work on one big home base. It's a pretty unique concept and I'm looking forward to playing it on Stadia. It also marks the first game of its kind on the platform, and that's always an exciting thing to see. Now I do have some more thoughts on this title specifically, but I'll save them for the second half of the video. The last thing I want to mention about it before moving to the next announcement is the fact that it's a Stadia Pro title for early 2021. So that does confirm this isn't a Stadia Pro game for the month of November or December. Now the last announcement they had for us was the Humankind Beta. You can check it out for yourself for free by clicking on the click to play link in the description below of the video. The beta will last till 9am pacific time on October 28th. And just to be clear about it, you do not need a Stadia Pro subscription to check this out. As for the game itself, you'll be able to create your own civilization and combine different cultures that lead to different endings. Over 1 million culture combinations are suggested in this trailer, and that's quite a lot. It'll be super interesting to see what type of combinations people come up with and what the end result is on whether or not they work out. Aside from this, you'll also be fighting in tactical battles. This'll work on a turn-by-turn -turn basis, much like other games of its kind. You'll have plenty of decisions to make throughout the game and many technologies to research. The goal of the game is to allow you to build the society and civilization of humankind if you were the one to call all the shots. Now I won't be giving you my first impressions of the game just yet, I actually want to spend more time with it because it's one of those games you really need to dive into to understand, but from the little I've played so far, it does seem very promising. And that wraps up everything we were shown for day 2 of the Stadia Good Stuff event. Overall, I think it was a pretty good showing. I think it was better than yesterday's and I'm excited to play some of the things they announced. In general, I think it's better simply because the games themselves generally relate better to the average consumer or even the enthusiast like myself. While I think Pac-Man is a wonderful game and don't get me wrong, everyone understands it and it's quite a bit of fun, I don't think it's something to really hype myself up for. On the other hand, Humankind is a bit more enticing simply because it's a brand new IP from Sega and it's trying to challenge the likes of Civilization. 
I have a few friends addicted to strategy games and I'm sure they'll be willing to try this out for free on Stadia, and some of them haven't even played Stadia to begin with. And one of the biggest reasons why is because there wasn't a game like this to actually get them to even try it. So I do think ultimately this demo is a good pick, even though myself, I'm not too into these games, but I definitely think it's filling a void that was there. Now let's just talk a bit about Ark. I actually own this game on PC, and you should know I'm a pretty big fan of survival games. I actually played Rust for quite a bit of time with 10 other friends and we built a home base and were pretty proud of it. Ultimately, that base got raided by a bigger group and destroyed but that's the name of the game and that's the fun in it. Now when it comes to Ark, some of us actually tried to play it, but the game really didn't seem optimized for our systems. And when I say optimized, I mean not optimized at all. Many of us have high-end gaming computers and the fact that the game really didn't run all that great was pretty worrying. And that's why I'm super interested to see it on Stadia. I'm really curious to see how well this game runs. I know the ports to consoles haven't been all that great either, so I'm a bit worried that the optimization will still be lacking here. That said, if they do nail this down, I would love to build a Gen S group and clan and build our own huge home base. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, do let me know in the comments section below. And then there's the expansion for Orcs Must Die 3. It's always good to see added content and support for a title that I think is pretty good on Stadia. And I know there's definitely die-hard fans of the series who are playing it on Stadia since it's a first on Stadia title. I really can't complain here, because honestly, I'm probably more excited about this than Hello Neighbor Engineer myself. They did also show a bit of Outcaster's gameplay, but I pretty much covered everything I had to say about it earlier on in the video. All in all, I think today's showing actually spoke to me more personally, and that's why I'm not so negative on it. I'm still not a fan of the 5 minute bits, but I'm starting to think this is more about stress testing the Stadia servers by putting out demos each day. That's really the only reason I can see why they're not doing all these announcements in a Stadia Connect so far. I am very curious to see what announcements they left for last considering it's the big finale and I am having a bit higher expectations for it. I am hoping to hear something about Uplay Plus considering the demo for the day is Immortals Phoenix Rising but I guess we'll see what happens. Either way, do let me know your thoughts on day 2 of the Good Stuff event and whether or not you've liked what was shown. I look forward to reading your replies in the comments section below. Now if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video question is just going to be asking for your thoughts and opinions on the Humankind beta and what you think of it. As always, thank you for watching the video, this has been Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related. The Gen S community is over 5,100 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.